Welcome to the introduction for the all-new SimpleSep Smart Rip 4.0 from AdvancedTShirts.com. SimpleSep Smart Rip 4.0 has many new features and functions you won't find in any of our previous versions of SimpleSeps or for that matter any other software available in the screen printing industry. SimpleSeps takes you through the entire process of managing your color, separating your color, and ripping your halftones. Something you won't find anywhere else. For example, here on the screen I've got our SimpleSep Smart Rip Tiger graphic, and you can see that this has 19 colors, actually 34 different tints of color. We know that we need to reduce this down in colors for screen printing to print on a 4 or say a 6 or 8 color press. SimpleSep automates that for us and then sets up everything for our separations and halftone ripping. This graphic, once processed through SimpleSep, will instantaneously be converted to 5 colors or 23 tints. SimpleSep, through color management, comes with auto color reduction, auto color matching and actually uses intelligent color matching based on spot colors to give you the best possible color matches depending on the colors that you want to work with in your graphic. Once your colors are reduced you're going to need to separate these and auto generate things like white bases, white highlights, etc. for your screen printing purposes. Simple Steps handles all of that also. In fact it will automatically separate either vector, grayscale, or half-toned ripped color separations. During the separation process, Simple Steps will also automate things like trapping, choking, spreading, and creating gutters for your white bases, giving you the best possible custom color separations for your screen printing business. If you don't have a halftone rip, then separating to vector or grayscale really isn't going to enable you to be able to output halftones for halftone screen printing. Simple Steps will also take care of that for you by auto generating your halftones. In this version of Simple Steps, we now have the new industry standard of interlocking halftone technology available only through Simple Steps 4.0. Once you've done your halftone ripping and color separating, Simple Steps gives you the ability to get, take a look at a live halftone preview of your color separations directly in Corel Draw, something you won't find with any of the other rips in the market. We actually refer to that as blind ripping. Those are the rips where you just click the print button, the films come out with the dots on them, you burn the screens and set them up on press. Well, through that process, you don't have the ability to review your halftones. So if there's a problem with your separations or halftones, you're not going to find out about it until you're actually on press. By then it's too late. You're going to have to take the screen out. You're going to have to fix the halftones or the separations, reburn the screen, re-register the job, and you're going to have down production time. Simple Steps, with all of its features and functions and its live halftone preview, reduces the possibility of having production error errors or issues during the screen printing and color separation halftone ripping process and taking that out to press. Simple Steps also comes with the ability to do all black printing. You can actually take the ink cartridges in your ink jets and fill them with all black and then do all black printing output. Also, we are not limited to just Epson ink jets. We can do all black printing or rich black printing on any ink jet printer. In fact, Simple Steps will work with any printer that you'd want to use it with being an ink jet or a laser printer. Once you've set up your halftone positives, you can burn your screens and then get your print out to press. And Simple Steps will give you the ability to produce the best possible prints with the best possible color separations and the best possible ink coverage through our unique interlocking halftone technologies. Simple Steps actually comes with every possible feature and function that you'd want in screen printing related to color management, color separations, and halftone processing or ripping. We also now have all new easy to use dot gain settings to help you with dot gain compensation on press. And we'll cover that in some of our future sessions in this training series. Let's go ahead and take a look at an actual graphic here. We'll go to Window and we'll come down here to Untitled. And this is the actual graphic that we were working with on the previous document. Go ahead and take a look at how easy it is to work with something like this in Simple Steps. I'll go ahead and select everything here. And you can see we've got 270 different objects. Now if I want to go through and reduce all these colors and everything, I'd have to do quite a bit of tedious manual work. But if I go up here to Advanced Tools and just click on Simple Steps 4, we'll let that open. Come over here to the plugin and I'll go to my Color Management tab. Click on Create Selection Palette and instantly I'll see that I have 19 colors or 34 tints. I know that I'm going to be printing this as a four color job or a six color job if I'm working with white base and second white. And I also know that I'm going to need to be able to reduce it if I want to print it on a four or a six color press. Well, Simple Steps makes that very easy. All I need to do is select the colors that I want to work with and then click one click conversion. For example, here I'll select a black, a green, an orange, a yellow. Come down here and say we'll select a white. We'll simply come down and click on one click conversion. Instantaneously, Simple Steps has processed all of those objects and converted them down to approximately five colors and 23 tints. 
So now this is set up so that I can print it on press and it's gone through and smartly matched and replaced all the colors to maintain the integrity of the original image and prepare it for color separation. Once I've finished with color management, all I need to do is go to the separations tab, come over here to raster type and I'll select halftones. Now here I have a white base with several different options. I'll go with a white base here. I'll stay with tinted. I can auto choke this and I'll go ahead and interlock this. I like to interlock my halftone in my white bases against my half tones in my blacks. Now here on my green, I can see that I have that just in my text here and I have a couple of different settings here. I could actually trap this or I could spread it. For this particular graphic, I'll go ahead and trap this and I'll select Pantone Hexachrome Black because I know that black is around that text. And that'll be auto trapped with a two pixel trap for me. Go ahead and scroll down here. Here I've got my black. I'm not gonna make any changes there. I've got a highlight white. I'll go ahead and interlock that because I don't want that to interfere with my black. If I wanted to, I could spread that or trap that. But up here I can come and select Enhanced White. Now what Enhanced White will do is, you know, when you color separate in Illustrator or Corel Draw or your major vector applications with a Pantone Trans White, it will actually separate just the Pantone Trans White. But if you have tints of color, there would actually be white in that. So Simple Steps has what we call an Enhanced White that will give you the white that would actually be in those tints of color for your white highlight or your second white printing. With that selected, I'll come down here to my yellow and my orange, and I can see that these are blending a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and interlock these. So I'll just set the orange here to an interlock. Now I'm going to output all black, so I'll select all black for my output, and I'll simply click on Generate Separations. And Simple Steps will auto-generate all of my color separations, my white base with my choke, my interlocked halftones, my enhanced white, or my second white, all of my color separations, and it'll also give me a black trap for my text. Once Simple Steps has finished processing your color separations, you'll be on your halftone preview page. This is a page where you can actually preview your halftones before you print out your separations. Let's zoom in here and take a look. Here you can see in the orange and the yellow we have interlocking halftones. You notice that these halftones are like pieces of a puzzle. They're locked together. The benefit of that is the fact that it will block any color coming through from behind those blending colors, which would cause a color shift or a change in color, reducing the accuracy and vibrancy in your screen printing color reproduction. You'll also notice here that after our halftone preview, we have our different separation pages. And here I have my white underbase. I can actually take my underbase here. I'll go ahead and copy this. I'll go back to my halftone preview. I'll go ahead and paste that in. I'll come in here and left click to make the background transparent. I'll right click to say change that to a light blue. And if we zoom in here, we can see that we have a perfect choke of two pixels around our white underbase. So we've auto generated our choke for our white base and auto generated our white base. I'll go ahead and delete that. After we have our white base, we have our different colors here. We have our Pantone 1655, which is either our orange or our yellow. Here's the next one. You can see that this is interlocked. Here is our white highlight or second white. And you can see that we generated this as an enhanced white so that we could get the white that's actually in these grays. And that this is also interlocked with the black. If I go ahead and copy this and go back to say my halftone preview page and I paste this in, you'll see that it all turns black there. Go ahead and left click here. And you can see that that white is gonna be interlocked in there, but that white is in that gray. Now a typical Pantone trans white spot color output it doesn't output the color that's in your tints of color, so it wouldn't output the white that's in that gray. Printing the white that's in your tints of color actually gives you better color reproduction on press than just printing the white. And then we can go through the rest of our separations here. And we'll go through here to our black. And here in our black, if you remember, I did the trap on the green text. And if I come up here, you can see that there's the actual trap right there, a two pixel trap around my green text, which will cause the black to overlap on the green just a little bit. This is particularly useful if you're dealing with a manual press that doesn't have micro registration and being able to hold registration effectively throughout a printing run. And we can actually take this, and this is also on our halftone preview, and we can see it there also. If I come here and I'll right click on this and I'll change to a red, there's that trap so I can verify that. 
And I could also take that trap and copy and paste it, say, into the green text, and it would then be a spread, or I could automatically do my spread from my halftones. So you can see the SimpleSef Smart Rip 4.0 covers every feature and function we'd possibly want for our screen printing color management, color separations, and halftone ripping relating to screen printing. We'll go ahead and wrap here for our introduction, and we'll continue in our next session in the SimpleSef Smart Rip 4.0 training series.